Can you get a little more between your eyebrows and on your nose? These UW-Madison students are engaged in work that sometimes even surprises them. You really feel like you're actively involved in the research process, which was something I never imagined coming into the university as a freshman. We have a lab in which there are several graduate students, a postdoctoral student, and about tw 12 undergraduates. It's incredible how much focused attention I get. This kind of opportunity is common at a university known for groundbreaking research. The University of Wisconsin is an ideas factory. We are number three in terms of universities receiving federal research dollars. UW-Madison is home to research pioneers like Jamie Thompson, the man often called the father of stem cell science, and technology guru Marone Livni, a key figure in high-throughput computing. We created here in computer science one of the most uh, powerful groups in, in doing simulation in the late 80s and gave us tremendous advantage. We are leaders in this space. We're very good in other areas as well, and research is not just science. It includes explorations of arts and dance. Research is social sciences. We have some of the top psychologists in the country exploring the human brain and how people think. Like Paula Niedenthal and her emotions lab. Right now, the focus of my research is how people understand other people's facial expressions. She's famous for her simulation of smiles model. A lot of attention to my research occurred around the presidential and vice presidential debates for the last general election in the United States. And so talk to me a little bit about the coding of the faces. Identify where the smiles yeah. were. These researchers are passionate about what they do. They love talking about it. They love teaching about it. Paula is not in an ivory tower in any way. So we've extracted moments of smile. Anybody who's been a researcher knows you don't do this alone. And many times these teams span multiple disciplines around the university. The student, the, the staff, the faculty, we have a community. And my science depends on the existence of this community. Many students actually get involved in research. Actually, this distance is measured the same for everyone. What you really want is the opportunity to find out what it means to conduct research. We have several research assistants who are undergraduates who are actually conducting their own research in the way a graduate student would do. I come from a small town, northern Wisconsin. My idea of who a scientist was was very different um, from what it was after getting to know Paula. They have a lot of access to me. I got to run my own research project from generating a research question to putting together an experiment and analyzing the data and presenting it to others. Even if they're never going to do research again in their life, they learn something about inquiry, about intellectual rigor, about exploring the world that stays with them throughout their careers. And the impact of research isn't contained to this campus. We get about a billion dollars, a little over that, in research money that comes into the university. We spend almost all of that money in the state of Wisconsin. We work in partnership with companies. Companies come here in part because they can work with us and be on the front edge of finding out what's happening in our laboratories. Like biotech startup Flugen, which is developing a universal flu vaccine. Flu vaccines that are out there right now work about half the time on a good year. There's a lot of people dying from flu, so a 50% vaccine is not very good. What they're trying to do here is revolutionary. So what we're trying to do is create a vaccine that is actually going to be able to block any kind of flu virus. If we give doses of our vaccine in a standard seasonal form, it blocks against this deadly bird flu. So think about that for a second. What might that mean in terms of lives saved, in terms of productivity, economic impact? And it all began with basic research in a UW virology lab. We're taking technology from the labs of University of Wisconsin, from Dr. Yoshi Kaoka, and he made the first discovery and got it to a point that it was ready to perfect and then start to move toward development and into the clinic. If we can produce this vaccine and it does what it's shown us already, it'll change human health as we know it. A goal that mirrors the UW's Wisconsin idea. We also have a real mandate to reach outside the borders of campus into the state, the nation, and the world. Helping make that happen are those deeply connected to the Wisconsin idea. A lot of the money that's come into our company so far is UW alums. Our biggest investor is a UW alum who left and has been gone from Wisconsin for, he graduated in 1946. He wants to see UW succeed. He wants to see inventions that have been made at the bench here translate into that market uh, and, and to human health and helping people. There isn't a 
university anywhere in this country that survives without finding alumni who want to give back so that today's students, tomorrow's students, can have the same wonderful experience here. An experience geared to train another generation of groundbreaking thinkers. The way I always say this was we aren't preparing students for jobs. We're preparing students for future careers. A place that is on the cutting edge of research, a place that is constantly asking questions about why and how, is a place where you're going to get those skills. See, like if everything spikes up, you know that like something went wrong in that moment. Okay. As a graduate student, uh, even if Paula was kind of the brains behind an idea, she encourages me to be the first author and write the manuscript and submit the journal. It's a really amazing opportunity. So it requires all of these people are working together to advance science. Whether you find a cure or to some disease or whether you understand better a piece of music, it doesn't matter. You, know, you, you make the life of people around you better through the knowledge that you're generating. There's just a real sense all across this campus that um, the work isn't just about playing mind games, right? The work is about finding things that actually can change the world.